flower babes savannah here with eden savvy creations and i wanted to show you guys my megan template so i made this flower the other day on my instagram and decided to go ahead and make a video on what i did now today the flower is going to look just a little different because i'm adding a couple more layers but it's pretty much the same as what i showed uh, so we will be using the largest template and then these two small ones for this flower that i'm doing today so let's get our glue sticks, our glue gun, some scissors, and your choice of paper. Let's get creating. Okay guys, so since I'm going to use a six petal base, all my petals that I cut out are, are there's six of them. Except for these right here, I have 12 petals cut out, and this is gonna be for my center. It's, it's like making a rose center, just a little twist on it. So I'll show you that in a minute, but, I have three layers of six petals for the biggest layers, uh, for the, yeah, for the biggest layers. And then I have six petals for the smaller, the smaller layers that we're going to do. So I've already curled them in, as you can see. So these outer layers, I just went ahead, you can you can like fold this in and you could you know glue it that way but it's gonna really lay flat and I didn't want that so I went ahead and cut it in um, a lot actually I was gonna say a little bit but I cut it in a lot so that way it will lay down it'll sit up but lay down kind of flat whenever you glue it so it'll be you know kind of like that now, it's always best to remember when you're cutting in the petal like this that the further in you go, whenever you bring it together like that, the flatter it'll lay. And the less that you cut in, the higher it'll sit up. You always wanna remember that. You know, try to think about the look beforehand to make sure that you don't cut the petal in too, don't cut it into the petal too much. Okay, so now that those are cut, you're just gonna wanna glue them off. You don't want to see all this part, so I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so while I was gluing everything, I realized that I was showing y'all the wrong way that I wanted the petal curled. I had everything backwards. So I want the petal to be curled out ways, not in ways this way. So I had to turn them around and glue them the other way. But here's the finished look. So this will be your first layer. And you're just gonna add it pretty close in to where it kind of lays a little flat. Try to make sure that you get it like in the middle of the line. That helps to spread the petals enough, spread them apart enough. On this flower, you don't have to worry about getting underneath the other, the first petal that you have put. It's fine sitting like that. So now you got your first layer, you're gonna come in with the second layer, and you're gonna go right in between all these petals. So you don't wanna come in and go like this again, because then you're just covering up, covering them up. And 
and these ones I push in just a little bit I don't like put it right up against the other petals you know like that I push them in a little more so they they're laying flat also I love these geometric shapes to use as bases because, I mean, it's very helpful and you know exactly where to lay the petals. It makes it super easy. So if y'all haven't tried those yet, you should definitely try them. So there's your second layer. Now this third layer, I am going to push it in. I'm not going to lay it as flat in the back. I'm going to kind of bring it forward so it's a little lower than those. But again, I'm going in between those petals that I just laid. See how they're coming in between all those petals. Now you can do less layers, you can do layers of all the other sizes. This is just what I did and I like the look. And on my first flower that I did, I didn't add, um, I didn't add these extra layers. I just left it like this and I put the center in. But I wanted to give it a different look. I wanted it to kind of, I don't know, look more bloomed, I guess. So this is the next size up or I'm not sure but this is the next size I'm gonna be using and I want to try to go between those other petals too and bring it a little forward into the center when a flower is fluffy and very bloomed, lots of layers. I feel like that really finishes the look of a flower. The fluffier, the better. So now actually looking at it, I feel like that's, that's enough layers that I might just leave it like that and make go ahead and make the center. So we'll put this out to the side and we'll make the center real quick and then we'll see what it looks like in the flower. And if it still needs another layer, then we'll go ahead and make that, put that last layer in there. But I think that that's, that's really good. So I told y'all earlier that I did 12 extra petals for the center and I'm gonna make it like a rose, rose center. So you're gonna you're gonna take the two. I always crease mine at the bottom there, but you're gonna take two. And again, guys, less is more with the glue. I've learned the hard way, so you don't have to put a whole bunch of glue um, for them to stick, cause they'll stick. I burn myself a lot. But you're gonna do like this, 
And I found that it's better if you do one side at a time. So I just enclosed that side, put some glue, and then you're going to want to test this one over. But you want to make sure that it stays flat. To give the look that you want. And then you're going to want to put just a little bit of glue right here in the middle of that first one. That way this will stick to it when you're... Trying to figure it out. <laughs> Try to make sure that you keep it as flat as possible on the surface, your table. Because if you pick it up to twist it, this will get twisted and then it kind of offsets the whole flour so then when you got it you know you just glue that too so that's the center and then again you're just going to do the same thing for the other ones glue it a little at the bottom glue these together to make like a bow tie Now, I have seen a few people like, don't mind my drumstick. <laughs> I've seen a few people kind of crease the edges, you know, kind of fold them in. And it just makes it easy. It makes it easier for when you're folding them like this. It's already, you know, set to hug that other plate. Um, the other part so if you haven't tried that y'all should try that it does does help a lot having them folded in like that but like I said it's just like making a normal row center this is just a different style this part does not go as fast as all the other parts because a rosebud takes time, y'all. Takes time, it takes patience, it takes practice. So there's the beginning. You're gonna get the next four, your next layer, and you're gonna just do, it's pretty repetition. It's pretty repetitive. Sorry, y'all. It's really early for me. Let me go ahead and do both. And since this base is really small, really tiny, I don't, I don't um, give any space between them. I keep them up to the crease because there's no need to space it out. The base isn't getting bigger. So because we folded this way, this layer, we want it to fold in this way. That's always something to remember too when you're making rosebuds, um, is that you always need to go opposite of what, what the last fold was. And you don't wanna take the glue up too high when you're gluing the sides like this, because it's only the side. Like you don't want to come all the way up there. You know, there's no need for glue right there. So I 
really like this pointy look. You know, you, you can make a fluffy center for this flower. You don't have to do this center. I just really wanted to venture out of the, the norm rose centers. I like to pull mine out a lot um, as I'm doing the layers. I don't really like, um, what do you call it? I don't like a lot of layers in my rosebud. That look is really pretty. I just, it's not something I like. So here's your rosebud. And now these next four, you're going to Kind of do the same. But we're gonna take them, and again, I'm using my drumstick because it's big. <laughs> and you're gonna curl just one side out. Like so. And I do two at a time because it makes it easier. So now these, you're not gonna glue them together, you're gonna glue them one by one onto the base of the rosebud. And just um, be mindful of this curl right here. So on this it's going to be a little different because you want this curl to stay so you're not going to you're not going to want to glue it like that. You're just going to want to glue this side for right now. You want to do it one petal at a time because you're just gluing this flat side and you, you need to make sure that you get it glued in between this side that's curled right here. So it is, um, it is a bit of a process, but the look afterwards is really pretty. And I kind of pull it out just a bit from the base to give it some room. And then once you've tried it, you can put your glue and just glue it in. So if this is your first time making the center like this, I would take it slow and just do one petal at a time. Don't go, don't go in and glue everything at once. Just kind of try it out, practice it, just so you don't get frustrated. Now this last one, you wanna make sure that this part is in before you like really push it to the end of the base. Because on my first one I did, I had to like tear this petal and yeah, it was a mess. And I was super frustrated and upset. But now that those flat sides are on and it looks like this, 
Now you can go back and um, fold this in, glue it in just a little bit so that it's still curled, but it's also like sticking out, blooming out, I guess is the word. But remember when I told you you don't wanna go in gluing this first? That's why, because you gotta make sure that you fit this in between that petal. Um, just a little bit at the bottom is fine because you want it you want it to kind of bloom out. You don't want it to sit right flat on the flower. So as you're pushing the glue down, you can push the petal out just a bit to get it how you want it. You can do more layers of this too. I just wanted to do the one. So you can always go back into with like your glue stick or the drumstick or whatever you have to um, curl and you can just curl these better. Oh, see this one came off. Sometimes you gotta blow on it, it's really hot. is the center and I I just love this look I am still working with it still working on different looks I might just go ahead and start doing these closer in like a little more closed to more bloomed out um, but I'm working on it so now if it's if it's perfect in the center so we don't need that extra layer that I had this you could also do um, make it smaller like I could have probably made this with this size of template but I like the big I like the big bloom that kind of sticks out it's like boom in your face you just want to hold it down and make sure that it's there but this is the flower now like I said you can totally make this smaller it doesn't have to be with the large petal um, you can also just add, instead of like the smaller layer right here, you can just add a bunch of these, another layer or two of the large size. It's completely up to you and your vision and what you see. I just like this. We could even probably curl this in, this layer, curl it in to the, the rosebud instead of out. But this is Megan. And I will have her available in um, a hard copy already. So for any template orders, I will leave my email below. So that way you can email me with any questions. But you guys follow my Instagram page. I'm on Facebook, uh, Twitter. I'm even on Snapchat. So Eden Savvy Creations. I'll leave all the information below for you guys. But I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I did. Happy creating, everybody.